is Dominika Alisiaroszko here from Vegirasta.com and today we're gonna create very very delicious soup. Uh, something totally different uh, from what you usually imagine. Uh, this soup is totally raw uh, and you only need a handful of ingredients uh, to make it at home and the blender, you don't even need the high speed blender, any blender would do. Um, and even though it's the raw soup, uh, we can really make it kind of like the warming up soup uh, by adding uh, a little bit of chili flakes or fresh chili. Uh, so it can be amazing lunchtime option uh, for you. And ingredients, uh, they are like the staple ingredients in every household. So we're gonna use one uh, large apple. You can uh, leave the skin on, just ensure that you clean it uh, thoroughly and uh, I usually soak it in the water with apple cider vinegar just to ensure that the pesticides are removed from the skin. Uh, then we're also going to add uh, one large avocado, uh, as soft as possible ideally, which of course with avocados can be tricky sometimes. Uh, we're gonna use one of those and okay we have everything ready and the greens large handful of greens uh, here I had some leftovers of spinach uh, but again you can use watercress you can use rocket uh, you can even use kale just remove the hard stems um, so large handful of greens gonna put it in the blender and uh, one teaspoon of uh, sea salt half a teaspoon of black pepper uh, I would suggest to try it uh, you know just ensure uh, that it's the, it has the spiciness that you like uh, we also going to use uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Uh, alternatively, you can also use the flaxseed oil, and it would be amazing uh, to use instead uh, for uh, all the omega omega three properties. So it can be used instead. And water. Uh, Ideally one and a half cup, uh, however, to start with, uh, because it really depends on the size of the, uh, of the apple and the avocado. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, probably one cup to start with. Yeah, it's gonna be almost. And then we're just going to start to blend it. I need to switch it on, probably, to start with. Instead I will pulse it and I will see. Okay, let's try the uh, consistency. It should be very, very smooth. Uh, the smell is amazing. We need to blend it for a little bit longer and I pr will probably add a little bit of more water. I would do a little bit more pepper. Uh, so basically, uh, don't be afraid to try it a few times uh, when you prepare it. Uh, because basically the suggested uh, proportions are just, you know, to my taste but you may find it completely different, you might prefer it a little bit more spicy or a little bit more salty so don't be afraid to try look at this amazing green color so now uh, we're gonna put it onto the plate and decorate it 
it's very very creamy beautiful soap and we're gonna use some spring onions as well as some chilies uh, you can use the chili flakes uh, or the chopped fresh chili so I'm just going to use a few uh, few little slices and you can also decorate it with the microgreens uh, and by microgreens I mean things like uh, mini coriander or uh, amaranth leaves so just a few just to make them pretty and also if you can uh, or uh, get it somewhere or you can order it online I put the link at the bottom uh, the edible flowers and that pretty dish is ready to eat for you enjoy